is going on guys Rainback and today we're going to talk about the current Titan invasion and some tips I can give you guys on some better legends some ones you're probably going to want to run and then kind of just some general tips just to get yourself and your team an advantage in the battle now this should be no surprise this invasion is a lot tougher than the last one was and there are some definite ways to give yourself the advantage and there's some legends that I'm going to show you guys in it really quickly uh, attackers, deniers, and then kind of just some general supports. Um, I want to talk about the ones that are most important, and those are going to be the ones that are guaranteed denies. And these are ones you're going to want to have. Um, the, the, there's there's a top five in my opinion. Um, the legends that run total blind, where any of the legends are not immune to it, and no one can block it. It is uh, Scrap Warrior who has the AOE and the single target. Balor who has the AOE and the single target. Dungeon Master I believe has just the total blind AoE not I don't know if he's a single target Ravish has the AoE and the single target and then Bonnie Bark that should be one that you guys should all have Bonnie Bark not necessarily everyone's gonna have Battle or Scrap Warrior but everyone should have Dungeon Master and Bonnie Bark from the 72 hour challenge and then the one of the mazes uh, those two I'm telling you that the, the, the they're extremely important to have the total blind because you, you're not gonna get hit and the, the zero cooldown blinds are more important than the AoEs, obviously, because you only fight one legend, but th that's what's going to help you get more attacks in and support your other attacker or, you know, just regen health or whatever you need to do to get attacks in. But before we get into the, the, anything further, I guess I'm, I'm going to name some other legends that are good that you're going to want to have, but I think it goes without saying that they took away the difficulty, or they put more difficulty into it, which means you have to basically just grind this guys there, there's no easy way to say this you have to be able to play the game a lot to really make a difference unless you have high level legends and runes the runes is probably more important and you have to have a lot of legends because you're only probably doing if for me you know i was just jumping in on the first one ignis who is a tank with those skills uh he is tough so i was just jumping in getting my thousand points jump back out now against cryotan and um Krugbo, I'm pretty sure I had a lot better chance. Or was it Crudwell? I don't remember. Either way, it's a lot easier this way. Uh, I can jump in and get 15, 20, 20,000, I think it is. It's like 20 million or something like that in the long run. But it sometimes you just got to grind this one out, guys. I, I'll, I'll tell you some more legends in a, in a moment here. Um, I'm not going to really get into Nemesis. I'm not going to cover them. They're obviously all going to be really good. Uh, against Igneous, one of the best ones to have would be the Fire Lucifer. Lucifer. He's got a block. He has block fire protection and block burning and ignition. Maybe I don't. I might just be fire and then burning, which are fantastic skills. Um, so definitely, definitely look out for him if if you have a chance for it. Uh, but I'm just gonna quickly run through some really just really quickly just run through the legends that have blinds, which are going to be your best bet if you don't have the five that I mentioned. Uh, Loom, Baba Yaga, Lao Lao, Bella, Ingvar, Inknadius. Obsidian, Baron Trader, Akenotep, King and Queen both have uh, zero and one turn cooldowns uh, blinds. Tempest and Victor both have AOE blinds. Montauk creature has a single and and uh, AOE blind. Estereo has a zero cooldown blind, and the zero cooldown blinds are more important than the uh, than the AOEs. Obviously, it doesn't matter if you get an AOE, and it's more important to just keep spamming the blind every time that person gets a turn blind because it lasts for two turns. Um, and then a really important one, two that you guys might not know, and this is probably why I'm putting out the video. Besides Barney Bark, who has the total blind in the AoE blind, Hipparion, the artifact led, the artifact epic, has an AoE blind in days, and Mothman has an AoE blind in days. That it's one skill. One skill that blinds and days at the same time. Um, and then the couple legends that I would say are the best for support are the ones that have multiple boosts to the to your attackers, and that's gonna. There's a lot that have the double damage, um, so frostbite. I mean, a lot of the water legends have it, um, but the ones that are really stand out are going to be Repti, who has a triple damage and a double damage. Then you can stack those, so you can have six times damage on your attacker. Uh, you guys knew that from before, and then Totem had that as well. Um, so so definitely those two 
Um, but then also Metalisha has a triple damage skill that lasts one turn and a double damage skill that lasts two turns. So she can also, tr like, uh, what is that? Sextuple? I think it is. Uh, boost. Uh, so that's that's a hugely important too. But uh, the best advice I can give you guys is just to grind it out. Oh, the last big tip I'm going to give you guys. The boost you get from actually killing the legend is enormous. Now what I'm going to recommend is you tell your strongest three players to stack up as much damage as they can with a, with with when there's probably 50,000, nah, maybe not that much, maybe like 5 million damage left. Tell your top three attackers to get their attacks. And th this was something that Izzy showed me. This is what I was doing for the last legend. Stack up your legend and then just wait. Do not attack. Stack up as much damage as you can and have a very strong attack. Uh, somewhere between, I'd say, 500,000 and a million, um, if you can. Now, I, I can get up to 500,000. Is it can get up to a million? Um, I, I'm sure some of you guys can get up past that. I'm just saying, stack up your attack because I'm pretty sure the boost you get for your team is like six to 800 million. Or is that right? 600, 800,000? Ooh, I don't remember, actually. Uh, we got two giant boosts from actually killing the, uh, the, the Titan twice. So yeah, so our our two tops are Izu and Zuzu, and both of them have over a million. And I'm pretty sure that boost gives you like, I I want to say like 750,000, um, yeah, 750,000 points. And that alone is like the entire time you're spending the like the three hours, if not more, attacking that legend. So it's a huge boost. If you can do that, tell your top players to do it. It's gonna give you guys a, a better chance of winning this war or this Titan invasion. Uh, so we're ahead a lot because of those two. If it wasn't for those two, you know, potentially we would be losing this. We were probably like right on par with the Legion of Killers. Um, so look out for that. Uh, so that's really all I had. I want to give you guys the some of the best legends. Those five. Uh, and I guess you could count a couple of the legends that have the AOE evasions. I don't like that as much as I like the blinds because the blinds will last for several turns. Whereas the evasion, you lose it as soon as you go. So you can use, say... Kakora were to go first who has an AOE evasion you could potentially lose that as soon as you get to go next um, so it's kind of it's not as good as I, I think that the best thing is the AOE blind and days not the total blinds because total blinds last one turn and the blind and days last two and three respectively um, so I, I'd say look out for that and that's really all I had uh, I really don't know the the way this is this this is gonna work out I'm pretty sure we'll be able to hit 9 million we'll, we'll probably end up in first place this team I'm on is, is a is fantastic team AFKK making moves um but other than that I just want to tell you guys that Alsa's bodyguard is now on Turinga and they added some skills to Gortok the war master and like before this was put out he was good he was not fantastic by any means but look at this applies damage mirror to itself mountain hater to itself and an extra turn removes all negative status effects from all allies and an extra turn and then I know there's another one right here immunity to control to all allies immunity to or I'm sorry dark protection to all allies and damage mirror to all allies and an extra turn to itself it has f three extra turn skills that is insane but that's not that's not all Applies quicksand and sunburn to all enemies with heavy earth damage to all enemies. That's an AoE. That's going to be a heavy hitting AoE. This is not the super a AoE Mega Stun. That's basically Cryotan's Mega Freeze. Except I, we don't know if this is going to be a, an ex, like a 250 stamina where you have to use a stamina rune if you use it. But either way, I'm just like looking at some of these skills. Um, where's another one? There's another heavy AoE. Heavy special damage to all enemies applies a 40% shield to itself. I mean, this legend is going to be insane. And the, and the one I already told you guys uh, is the War Master Gortok skill, which immunity... Oh, wait! Oh, okay, they changed this. It, it was immunity to all control skills now. Gives me just stun and mega stun to all allies. So, <laughs> so he himself cannot be possessed, frozen, hacked, mega stunned, or stunned. And none of your teammates can be stunned or mega stunned. Ah, I and, and they're only they're only making the strong stronger because look at these dungeon restrictions. You're gonna need rank five legends in several books to even have a chance at this, and that is such shit. They, 
I'm so pissed about this. I knew that. I understand why they did this for the Nemesis, but I don't know if these are going to even be pur purchasable. They might just be like the only people who have this, or the, the only people who are going to have these legends are going to be the top 1,000 players who have rank fives, and that sucks for a lot of players who like, you know, just want to you know play for free and have a chance at least like his cells so you can eventually craft him like some of the Nemesis legends. But that's my rant. I hope you guys are doing good in the invasion. Um, right now, it's it's kind of up in the air. I'm, I'm halfway like working towards it, but at the same time, it's like it's such a grind. But know that that grind might pay off. Igneous might actually be really great. Uh, I might have bad mouthed him before. I don't remember if his his skills and stats were up the first time, but his 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 skills currently are a quicksand, a burning, a ignition, and uh, was it fire or burn hater? I don't remember. Either way. Uh, thanks for watching the video and I will catch you guys in the next one.